Hey there, it's Margaret Lynch Ranieri, and today I'm going to talk about the first key to being able to wow somebody with results as a coach, even if you are just taking your first steps as a coach or if you've already learned some techniques and modalities. Now, I'm going to teach you each of these five keys this week, but it's really all kicking off next Monday as part of the five day skills challenge I'm doing because I'm just hearing from so many people that they want to take a step into coaching or they want to take their coaching business to the next level and they are not wowing people yet. So I want to teach you the skills to wow people and I think it's going to be best done if we immerse ourselves and take a break from all the crazy in the world and really focus in for a five day challenge. So make sure you're on my list and you're getting my emails because we're going to be announcing how to get into that challenge. There will be a very small entrance fee, but I promise you that fee is for you because it will help you to commit. So each of the five days i'm going to be teaching you i'm talking about an in-depth like an hour-long skills teaching and then you are going to go out and practice it's going to be actionable to practice each thing so today i want to tell you a little bit about the first thing i'm going to be teaching you which is one of the keys to wowing people is starting with really amazing diagnostic skills even as a coach or a healer or a practitioner, you need to be able to add diagnosis to whatever it is you plan to do. And so why do we do a diagnosis? Because it helps us start out with giving someone a really big wow aha moment. And so this is the first of five things I'm gonna be teaching next week. I'm gonna teach you how to start with a diagnosis that will actually bring light to the root of anyone's complaints, their outer complaints they're, they're complaining about, and really give them an aha moment there. Second, I'm going to teach you how to use an anchor modality to really get the wow, the measurable, the self-evident results, no matter how many other modalities you want to add in. Thirdly, I'm going to teach you how to interpret the layers and the meanings of emotions because we are humans, not computers. We have inner resistance to things, even that we say we want to do. You need to learn that. Number four, how to use additional approaches and modalities in a framework to make everything supercharged, accelerated, so much more effective and efficient. And finally, how to handle those five types of inner resistance that create procrastination and stuck and self-sabotage. Um, but today I just want to talk about the idea of starting with a diagnosis. People who often learn techniques, even techniques that I've learned like hypnotherapy and tapping, we sort of learn to jump in with the technique. And what I want you to think about is starting with clarity, starting with giving someone an ah moment. And that starts with what I call, though I am not a doctor, a diagnosis. Okay, so here's actually the keys to doing a diagnosis. And of course, on the first day of the challenge, I am going to do an in-depth teaching, give you these skills, give you the scripting to go use it with somebody, practice. And during a challenge, guess what? You win prizes. We have all sorts of cool gifts and prizes to give you during the challenge to keep you motivated and having fun. But let's talk about getting those aha moments with your diagnostic skills. So some of the things that you're going to learn around giving people big aha moments where they're like, wow, I never thought of that before. That makes so much sense. Wow, you're kind of a genius. Here are some of the things that you need to learn to do, and I'll be teaching them on the first day of the challenge starting next week. Okay, you're going to learn the right questions to ask. You're going to learn the right way to listen because there's lots of different ways to listen. You're going to learn the spaces to expand upon. Okay, there's a, there's a type of space that we listen for and then catch because we're diagnosing and we expand upon that space by asking very specific questions where we use very specific questions like, wait, uh, tell me more about that or how long have you been experiencing that or how far does that go back? All different ways of expanding spaces to give the aha moment space to unfold. 
Um, and it can often give people the motivation, the wake-up call that they have been looking for to change. Um, and finally, um, you learn how to point out the connections. Connect the dots for people. Because sometimes, if you already have stepped into coaching or healing, or if you're like a student of human nature, someone will say something and it sounds so obvious to you. You'll, you'll hear them say something and maybe you'll think to yourself, oh my gosh, you know, they're, they're doubting themselves and that's keeping them stuck. Or they're, 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 they're being self-critical. They're talking negatively to themselves. And of course, that's going to make them depressed and, and not have any motivation. You might hear something that sounds to you like an aha moment in someone. But the fifth step is always about connecting the dots to other people. Because when you're the coach or the healer, you are going to have more insight to that kind of human nature, and you should, than the average person who's like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I do this. And so the first key that I'm going to teach on the first day of the challenge is all about how to do a real diagnosis with someone, even if it's someone that you meet like in five minutes at a live event or a networking thing, of course, probably on Zoom at this point, but you are able to give them amazing aha moments and insights, and it all comes from this cool process of diagnosing. And if you're using any modalities, like I often use tapping as one of my anchor modalities, I'm telling you, when you add a diagnostic piece, it changes the whole way you can work with your client. And it actually flows through in, in my approach, in the, the, the culture that we have here on Team Margaret, the way we teach coaching, this clarity that we touch on in the aha moments actually flows all the way through every single thing you do. So when you start with a diagnosis and you give someone clarity, which is an aha moment, that's actually going to work right into the session work. That's actually going to work right into the way they decide to hire you, right? What kind of a package? What way, How long are you going to work with them for? It's actually going to work right into the way you set goals with them. So it's a very congruent through line about clarity and diagnosis and basically getting clear about what the real problem is. Because when someone says, I'm procrastinating, that's a result of some other problem and they don't know what it is but you will when you learn how to be an awesome diagnostician and of course i'm going to be teaching that on the first day of the challenge so listen you got to watch your inbox we're going to be telling you pretty quickly how to enroll in the challenge and i'm letting you know right now get ready for the sticker shock we are charging an entrance fee. Are you ready to hear how much it is? It's $17. The reason we are charging that entrance fee is not because I need your $17. It is because you need to have some skin in the game to make sure you show up for all five days of the challenge, the free trainings I'm going to be giving, and the to take the action, right? To get excited, get focused, take the action by practicing each piece of the skill I'm going to be giving you each day of the challenge. And of course, that's how you're going to earn points and earn gifts and earn prizes. And it all starts next week. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Well, I got to get back to work and planning all of my trainings for you for next week. But make sure you watch your inbox for the challenge. It is coming soon. And by the way, the first step of the challenge is to take our Thriving Coach Code quiz. So you do need to take the quiz. So definitely watch your inbox for the quiz. The quiz is going to lead you into the challenge. There's going to be a special Facebook group for everyone in the challenge. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you there.